I'm Christy. And I'm Alex, and welcome back to Good Evening KU. So, you know, Halloween's coming up, mm -hmm. and we're still on campus, and yes. it's so nice out. It's mm -hmm. fall. So we're going to play some Would You Rather Fall okay. Edition, KU Edition. I'm excited. I know this Friday mm -hmm. there's a painting pumpkins at the Union, or they're watching a movie on Daisy Hill. Which one would you rather do? I would prefer to paint the pumpkins. Yeah. I feel like you can watch a movie anytime, like mm -hmm. anywhere at home. I what would paint you paint on your pumpkin? A little Jayhawk would be cute. Oh, good. <laughs> good choice, good choice. Okay. Would you rather trick or treat or would you rather go to like a costume party? Costume parties are so mm -hmm. much fun. Like I love I agree. already like scrolling on Pinterest yeah. and like seeing all different costumes. Mm -hmm. I've been so. seeing all stuff on TikTok too. I know. I've been so I'm excited inspired. to see like people get yeah. really creative, mm -hmm. like getting costumes. All right, and I know it's cold out, but there's still some people like hanging out underneath the white tents we have on campus. Mm -hmm. So would you rather just be like bundled up under the white tents during homework or go to a library? I'd rather go to the library. I'm not a fan of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge well, I like fall, but like winter, no, mm -hmm. and I still get very cold easily, so I would prefer to be in the library. Yeah. <laughs> um, and hmm, I know the first basketball is coming up this week. Yeah, that's first basketball crazy. game is next, next week, week. Um, so I know I'm excited for that. Yeah. I know Bill Self is really excited for the team to come out. I think it's going to be a really good season. I'm yeah, really excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. Games. And last year we didn't really get to enjoy all the games, so yeah. it'll be fun to do that. For sure. Uh, well, first of all, it's good to be out in public and being social, and and uh, you know, good seeing most of you guys. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm excited. I I, I, I like our team. Uh, I think we've added some experience. We've added some athleticism. Hopefully, some shooting and and. Uh, you know, the league was so terrific last year, and of course, uh, with Baylor being the elite of the elite, uh, uh, I think this year's league has an opportunity to have be every bit as good as what it has been in the past, and I know everyone's looking forward to that challenge. Late Night in the Fog was a really good experience, mm -hmm. so I'm super excited to like start going to basketball games yeah. as a freshman, like my first game oh, here you're as gonna a love student. It. It's going to be so, so fun. I've gone to games with like my parents when I was younger, so I'm just really excited to experience it Did you it buy like friends. the ticket passes? Yes, like the I do, the yeah. all sports pass. Mm -hmm. So we sat down together like on the couch yeah. and we chose the games that we wanted to go yeah. to. So really excited for the first game. Well, I know week. you live in Kansas. Are your parents, like are your family members? Like, they are. They are oh, they're ready bet. for games. Yeah. Like, let's it's really fun when like your family members are able to come up and like enjoy it with you yeah. so I'm super excited will you be yeah. at the game next week I I'm gonna try and go hopefully yeah. <laughs> I hope to go nice all mm -hmm. right well after the short break we will have Emma and Marlon with the news <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Emma. And I'm Marlon. This is your Tuesday Good Evening KU News Update. Scary news on Sunday night after police discovered a dead female student in Lewis Hall. An emergency call was made around 5.45 p.m. KU Police Chief James Druin later confirmed a code black which indicates a loss of life. No identification has been announced, but KU has made counseling services available to students who might have known the victim. A bomb cyclone is wrecking havoc in western United States, leaving more than 350,000 homes without power. Flooding and mudslides are most severe in northern California and southern Oregon, but a tree fell on a vehicle in, Se in Seattle, killing three people. Rainfall is continuing at rates up to two inches per hour. Jury selection in the Ahmad Arbery trial is continuing in Georgia. Three white men are charged with the murder of Arbery, who was out jogging, possible jurors are concerned with repercussions in the small town of Brunswick, where most of the population all know each other. Suspects who vandalized the native host artwork at Spencer Museum of Art have been identified. The University of Kansas Public Safety Office on Thursday announced that they were able to identify the two men who damaged four of the five panels of the artwork, thanks to public's input. In sports, it was a good weekend for KU football team. Even though they gave up five touchdowns in the second half, the Jayhawks actually led the number three ranked Oklahoma Sooners 10-0 at halftime. 
some mistakes and controversial calls that went OU's way didn't help as Oklahoma eventually wore down the undermanned Jayhawks to gain a 35-23 victory. KU dropped to 1-6 on the season, but will be freshly motivated for the next game, which is on the road this Saturday against Oklahoma State. The Cowboys lost their first game of the season to Iowa State this weekend, and will also be looking for a bounce-back victory. Kickoff is, will be at 6 p.m. on Sp Fox Sports 1. The owners of Kansas City's professional women's soccer team announced Tuesday they plan to build a $70 million stadium. Angie Long, Chris Long, and Brittany Matthews announced the 11,000-seat stadium will be built along the Missouri River near downtown Kansas City. Construction is expected to start next spring or summer, and the stadium will be ready for the 2024 season. That's all we have for our news update. After the break, Halo will be back with the weather, including a Halloween forecast. No one takes drugs expecting to become addicted. You should know that addiction can happen to anyone because it's a disease of the brain. That also means recovery is possible. Addiction doesn't have to be permanent, and the state of Kansas is ready to assist you in every step of the way. Visit findtreatment.gov or call the Kansas Substance Abuse Referral Line at 866-645-8216. Good evening, Jayhawks. My name is Hayden Wilhai here with your weather forecast for this evening. A couple of the headlines we're going to be talking about today. We've got lots of rain ahead for us in the next couple of days. We're looking at about a mild and clear holiday weekend for us. And then looking possibly into next week, maybe seeing our first snow. I know a lot of people don't like hearing that, but usually it's about this time of the year when we do receive our first year of snow. But let's take a look outside right now out, out of our uh, cam scene right there. The stadium still dealing with those overcast skies been seeing overcast conditions for much of the day and pretty mild conditions out there still holding on to those lower 60s we're holding on 60 degrees in Lawrence 61 degrees in Topeka 60 degrees still in Leavenworth and 64 degrees down in Ottawa and dew points are fairly on that drier side so it doesn't feel any don't feel any of that mugginess out there still holding on into those lower 50s and upper 40s it's a bit gusty out there actually we've been seeing a wind speeds between 10 to 15 miles per hour and even winds getting up closer to 20 miles per hour, 23 miles per hour sustained wind still at Topeka and still 14 mile per hour winds in Lawrence. And so far, as I mentioned, we are dealing with quite a bit of overcast in our area, seeing a lot of that cloudy. We, we did see uh, quite a bit of storms in the area uh, yesterday, saw a few tornadoes in parts of northern northeastern Kansas and even in uh, north north central parts of Missouri as well. But that system has been long gone and now we're just kind of dealing with the after effects of those clouds and also watching for this uh, for this system up to our northeast. Uh, this is actually a nor'easter bringing a lot of rainfall and a lot of heavy winds to the northeast parts of uh, Massachusetts, New York and even in parts of uh, Connecticut as well. And we continue to keep a close eye on that and still seeing a lot of that remnants of that bomb cyclone we saw in California as well. But here's another look at that satellite ra radar still showing us quite a bit of overcast conditions and we're looking to see or at least continue to see those overcast overcast conditions last for tonight but still holding on to 60 degrees in lawrence right now overcast still holding on that breezy winds from the southeast at 14 to 20 14 miles per hour and gusts up to 25 miles per hour so definitely hold on to your papers and your hats out there right now uh, so far we did reach a high at about 60 degrees for today low of 43 degrees this morning right about where our average should be for this time of the year and so far looking as much more going to be still stay, stay at least experiencing those overcast conditions for most uh, much of this evening and kind of hanging out in those 60s uh, low 60s and upper 50s for the rest of this evening and we're looking to dip down into a low of 56 degrees for tonight and we're going to be finally seeing some rain showers moving into the area late later on tonight uh, so far precipitation chance at about 40 percent and Here's what one of our future models is going to be showing us. Seeing a lot of severe weather activity happening in parts of central Kansas and even parts of Oklahoma, uh, central Oklahoma as well. But we'll continue to watch the system very closely. This is uh, right around 2 a.m. tonight, and we'll continue to see, or at least we'll continue to watch this system as it continues to push on through to the northeast. And we'll see quite a bit of heavy rainfall throughout the area for tomorrow. Pretty numerous showers for uh, tomorrow. But here's that slight risk force, or at least that storm risk. We're going to be kind of keeping an 
an eye on. But so far, Lawrence looks to be just outside of that marginal risk, but there could still be an occasional pop up uh, isolated storm wanting to trickle in into our area. But most of the focus as I mentioned before is in central Kansas and even in parts of central and uh, western part of Oklahoma. But tomorrow, as I mentioned before, still seeing quite a bit of numerous and scattered showers throughout the day. Precipitation chance at 90 percent. Definitely want to grab a hold of that umbrella as it is going to be a rainy one and definitely might want to start thinking about those heavier winter coats as we're looking ahead into next week. Maybe seeing one of our long track models is wanting to show us a possible first snow by next Tuesday. We're keeping a very close eye on this, but still maybe think ahead and might want to grab onto those snow boots and maybe even that heavier winter coat. But going to be holding on for those rain showers for the next couple of days, hanging out in those mid to upper 50s. And by the weekend, we're looking to be a lot clearer, also a little bit windier for Friday, but so far howling looking to be relatively on the mild side. And then once we get into the first half of next week, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on those lower temperatures in those upper 40s possibly get into those low our lows in those uh, freezing points right now 34 degrees as our low on Monday and that's why we're going to be possibly seeing that uh, chance of snow going into early Tuesday morning but so far Halloween weekend forecast looks to be great looking to stay clear 62 degrees for Saturday 40 degrees for Saturday night by Sunday holding on to those mid 50s 55 degrees really pleasant weather to be out there for uh, at least pleasant water weather for trick-or-treating now that is all I have this weather forecast thanks for tuning in to Good Evening KU tonight. We'll be back next week. Have a good evening and stay safe, Jayhawks. So, I mean, I know it's always a mouthful, but it's like it's always kind of hard to like, because a lot of those slides, they're, they're, they, they, didn't, they don't like those games, they don't animate. <laughs> yeah, and it'd be easier. Good job. That was a mouthful, Kaylin. They would like it though. I, they, well, I they always wish they had more. Well, I can definitely talk about